What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to give you my predictions for AEW Dynasty. AEW Dynasty is the next pay-per-view that All Elite Wrestling is putting on. It's going to be coming on April 21st this weekend. So it is currently Wednesday before AEW Dynamite. I'm giving you my predictions. There might be some things on AEW Dynamite that might change how I would feel, but I'm going to stick with my predictions I give you today. This video will be going up on Thursday. So with all that being said, let's get into it. So to kick us off, I'm going to start with, honestly, my most exciting match of the entire card, which is Will Ospreay versus Brian Danielson. I think in this matchup, you have the guy who's not afraid to put anybody over, the consummate veteran and professional of Brian Danielson, uh, a man who is a really well-known technician, really great wrestler, and you have this younger, uh, not really up and coming because he's an established star, but really like the newer face of AEW in Will Ospreay. He's the exciting new signing for the company, and I really think this match will steal the show, no doubt. Might be a match of the year contender right off rip. And I see Will Ospreay winning this matchup. I, I don't see uh, it making a whole lot of sense for Brian Danielson to win this match as Brian Danielson starting to wind down his career. And I think giving this clean win to somebody like Ospreay is a great way to just cement him as the next star of AEW. So this one to me... Um, if I'm not doing confidence points. I've been doing confidence points for a little while. But if I was, I would probably go all in on Will Ospreay defeating Brian Danielson unless they're thinking of a kind of a series of matches, which I wouldn't put it past AEW. They're seeming to do a little bit more frequency with their pay-per-views, not keeping them three months apart every time. Uh, we just had Revolution a couple of months ago. But based on the current story being told, and I think the direction we're heading, and the fact that Brian Danielson is somebody who's very uh, selfless. I'm going to say Will Ospreay to take this one. Next up, perhaps the most controversial match on the card, we have the Young Bucks versus FTR in a tournament final ladder match for the vacant AEW Tag Team Championships. These guys have had a lot of classics. They've had a lot of wars, and there's a lot of ways this could go. Uh, I wouldn't put it past the Young Bucks to be crowned the new Tag Team Champions because we just had Okada come in and win the Continental Championship, and we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. Uh, we also have this, this storyline that's just taking place with the all-in London footage, and I, I think that while that has intriguing uh, staying power, unfortunately, because people are are watching the, the, the rating show that it went up during that segment, I would have FTR win this. I mean, the Young Bucks are like the most disgusting Pickable people on the roster and to their credit they didn't necessarily want to show that footage so fair play to them also though they are the ones kayfabe who have brought this footage out to show it to the masses and have used it in a storyline against ftr and i think we're going to see ftr uh, kind of get their uh, payback their revenge on the Young Bucks for painting them to be these bad guys and creating all that backstage drama at, at all in London. So I have FTR winning this one in another match that could be match of the night and maybe even a match of the year contender. I still think Osprey versus Danielson takes that above uh, FTR versus Young Bucks because it is a match we've seen several times, but I have FTR walking away with the win and to be the new AEW Tag Team Champions. Next up we have uh, for the AEW TBS Championship, a house rules match, obviously the House of Black, with the defending champion, Julia Hart, against Willow Nightingale. I just see Julia Hart, she's on a great run, and I think that um, it being a House Rules match really lends her favor. I'm not a big Willow Nightingale fan, and I know that her, she has kind of the storyline with Mercedes Monet, um, but I, I see Julia, man, maybe Mercedes gets involved here, but I see Julia, one way or another, walking away with the title, uh, still around her waist, and I think... We have Sky Blue still involved in the storyline, I, I think. So uh, there's there's pieces of it that just really favor Julia. And I don't think that we finish telling her story. And I think, honestly, it'll eventually be potentially Sky Blue who takes the, the title away. So I'm going to have Julia Hart to retain on this one. Kind of following up on that, we have uh, Julia's House of Black compadres, uh, which is Malachi Black, Brody King, and Buddy Matthews against uh, the ragtag group of Mark Briscoe, Eddie Kingston, and the TNT champion, Adam Copeland. I've been really racking my brain on this one. I, this is one of those matches. It's a trios match, three on three. Um, there's a lot of routes this could go. I do think I eventually see Malachi Black heading back to WWE, but he's currently in a longer uh, term contract. So there's a lot of things they could do with that in the interim. 
I might see Malachi Black picking up the win and getting himself a TNT Championship match against Adam Copeland down the road, or maybe even on this following Dynamite. Um, so I'm gonna have House of Black go over. I know that's probably the wrong pick because how do you how do you bet against Adam Copeland and Eddie Kingston and Mark Briscoe? I might be talking myself out of this. No, I'm gonna go with House of Black because I think it would be interesting to see Malachi Black versus Adam Copeland uh, to. For the, for the TNT Championship, I'd like to see them feud. I think they would have a great match. And I think awesome, uh, also it's, it would tell an awesome story uh, that Malachi Black hasn't really had the opportunity to do. He hasn't had a singles match in a long time. So to see him parlay a victory here over uh, Adam Copeland into, at very least, a TNT title match would be a really great uh, pivot for him at this point in his career in AEW. Timeless Tony Storm versus Thunder Rosa for the AEW Women's World Championship. I'm not a Thunder Rosa fan. Appreciate that um, she can hold it down against uh, uh, a number of women, but Tony Storm, this is really the run that uh, I think will be defining to her career, at least in AEW. And I think she just needs to continue to hold on to it. There's a lot of other uh, adjacent storylines that are being built out, especially with Mariah May involved. And it's very similar to uh, Sky Blue with um, uh, Julia Hart. I think that. Mariah May might be potentially the one to take the title away from Timeless Tony Storm. So with all that being said, and also just because I don't see Thunder Rosa being the one to take it off of Tony Storm, the story's just not as um, as flesh out as a story you would think around uh, a potential challenger who would who would create uh, enough of a rift to be the person to take the title off of somebody like Tony Storm at this stage of her career. I'm going to go with Tony to retain the title. Next up, we have Okada versus Pac for the AEW Continental Championship. Guys, I'll just be honest with you, there's no way Okada loses. He just signed. He's one of the biggest signees in AEW history. Even if you don't really follow New Japan, you know who Okada is. And the fact that he just won the title off of the inaugural champion of Eddie Kingston, I could see some shenanigans coming involved. But I think it would be great to build up like this heel uh, champion who is talented and can really hold his own in the ring, uh, very much like Gunther in the WWE. And I think Okada is really the right guy for that kind of uh, that kind of spot. Uh, similar to Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is kind of a tweener at this point, but I think you have uh, Okada versus Pack in a really hard fought match that obviously ends with Okada hitting the Rainmaker or maybe cheating to win. But either way, Okada walks away still the AEW Continental Champion. For the AEW International Championship, you have the defending champion, Roderick Strong, against his best friend, Kyle O'Reilly. I'm really looking forward to this matchup. I think it'll be very intriguing. I think that there's been kind of this, like, you know, acceptance of Kyle O'Reilly into the Undisputed Kingdom. I do think, though, that Kyle O'Reilly is going to get screwed out of the title, and Roderick Strong is going to show that his title reign and the Undisputed Era... Uh, sorry, wow, that was a throwback. Undisputed Kingdom is more important to him than his friendship and relationship with Kyle O'Reilly. And it's really going to break Kyle O'Reilly's heart, but then he's going to go after the Undisputed Kingdom even harder. So I have Roderick Strong winning this. Um, I think it'll be a good technical match. I don't think it will I don't think it'll blow anyone's mind, only because I think this is the first uh, natural story beat of a longer narrative. And I think Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong will save the really good stuff for down the road. I might be proven wrong, but when you look at this this match card, there's so many other matches that are going to steal the show. I think they hold back a little bit this time, and we get more of a epic down the road uh, with Kyle O'Reilly probably potentially winning. But for right now, I think Roger Strong retains. And then the matchup that I think we're all kind of excited for because I think it, we already know what's going to happen. It's going to be Samoa Joe defending his AEW World Championship against Swerve Strickland. And I honestly believe Swerve is going to win and be cement his place as the man to carry AEW forward. He will be the next AEW World Champion. He will cement his status as the guy who put down Samoa Joe. And then as he's celebrating, Buckshot Lariat from out of nowhere. Hangman Page takes him out. And then we build over this summer all the way. Maybe at double or nothing we get, we get the next matchup. But I really see Hangman Page versus Swerve 
their feud continuing, but for the AEW World Championship, it is a feud worthy of that world title. And I think for me, this is one of the other ones I feel very confident in. Watch me be wrong, but Swerve deserves it. He's done great work over the last year. I would love to see him win the World Championship. I think it's time. I think it's overdue. Joe's had a, a decent run over the last uh, three and a half months, but now's the time to give Swerve Strickland his flowers in the form of the AEW World Championship. And I cannot wait to see what he does with that title run. So there you go, guys. Those are my predictions for this Sunday's AEW Dynasty. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree with my picks? Do you disagree with my picks? How are you predicting this match card to run out? And then also make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 2,200 subscribers before the end of April. Could we get it before Dynasty? Only you can help us do that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your time and your support. I will see you very soon.